Hi guys, Dave here. Well, today I want to show you how to make a sign on your CC, uh, a round sign with text on the top and text on the bottom. I'll show you how I do it here. So let's, uh, I'm in Inspire, but this will work with the others too. Uh, let's click on the job size. On this one, I'm going to do 15 by 15. And then uh, we're going to go with the center position here. Click OK. Now, the first thing we need to do is make us a circle here. And what I want to do is just start in the middle and bring it out to about right there. Okay, now I need to make a circle inside a circle, and I'm going to use the offset tool. And with this and highlighted, I'm going to click on inwards. And we'll do the two inches that I've already got in here. Click offset. Okay. Now this is where I want to put text on this top part right here. And then I want to put text on this bottom part. So what I like to do is hold the shift down. Highlight both of these circles here. Right click. Copy to layer. And let's do a new layer. Let's call this layer adjustment. And I'm going to make it red and click OK. So I want to, they're going to edit this one. I don't want to edit the other one. So go up to it and uh, get the little light bulb here. And that will turn off layer one. Now be sure to click on. The adjustment layer the one that we're going to do or it'll put it on the other layer so whichever one's highlighted is the one you're going to be working on so now you see it's red here so we know we're working on the adjustment layer now what I like to do is go over here to the draw line tool and draw me a straight line across now we got a, a line and what I want to do here is right click copy right click paste and I'm just going to take the up arrow key and just click it three times I'm going to add another one here click paste and I'm going to go to click the down arrow key one two three okay now this center one here go ahead and delete that one we don't need it then I'm going to go over here to the scissor tool, which is the trim tool. Click on it. Cut these two out here. Cut this one, this one, this one, this one. Go to the other side. And this one. Okay. Now what I want to do is go over here to the node editing tool, right click here, delete span, delete span. Now this is the way I'm doing it. There's probably different ways to do this, but delete span, delete span. Now this is my adjustment layer. So if I go back up here, and click on layer one, you see the um, it's inside the circles. So let's turn it back off. Then I'm gonna add another layer here, and this we'll do this one top text. So make sure it's highlighted. Click your top line. Go back over to the uh, selection mode. Click on draw text in the box. And we'll type in Dead's Garage. And we'll go with this font right now. You can change different fonts. Now you see it's not following the circle like we want. So now we got to go over here to text on a curve. Click on it. With the text highlighted, hold down your shift key and click the top. 
you see it's kind of falling but it's not it's not right so we need to make some changes here we want to do on do align to curve we want to scale the text to fit the curve and 100 percent is too much so we back it down back it down and you know you've got other options here uh, this is this is why it's going right now it's short to the left so let's click the middle here if my mouse will work click the middle okay now we follow in the curve but you see it's right on the curve we don't want it to be right on it we want to have some space there so go here it says offset distance and we'll type in point two and as soon as you type it you notice it you know you notice it moves up here um, probably do just a little bit more let's do three okay and then click close now if we go back over to the first layer and, and see that looks pretty good so now we've got the the top one done so let's make us a new layer and then we'll put bottom text and with it highlighted we'll go down here to the bottom bar and we'll go over here to the text uh, we'll type in my tools and you, this is just an example click and closed and then we go back up to the text on the curve with the shift key down highlight the bottom and you see it's it's not right and so we want to do a line to curve then we're going to go below the curve and let's do the scale and we'll go down We got to do the middle, and then we're gonna do this one the same thing with a three. Okay, that's put my text in a curve. So now that I can turn the adjustment layer off, and then go back up to the top layer here, and uh, you see it looks good on the top one, but still not right on the bottom one. So we need to make a little bit of adjustment to it so turn your adjustment layer back on and then we're going to leave the bottom text highlighted we're going to go over to the text on the curve and then highlight it on text and then the adjustment layer for the bottom here and then we're going to adjust it just a little bit more here that looks pretty good right there now you've got text space in here so that you can move it to you know make it on you make some adjustments on it uh, like about right there and click OK and then go back up here and turn the adjustment layer off yeah that looks pretty good now we can go over to the uh, to the V carve tool. We'll highlight everything. Let's highlight now. Everything. We'll go to flat debt and click calculate. And okay, guys. Once you've done it this way right here. You can go back over to the 2D view and say you want to change the, the lettering up here. Um, just highlight it like I've got right here. Go over to the draw text tool in the vector. And let's change that from dads to pops. And you see it keeps the, it keeps the shape already. So that's pretty handy. 
So this is how you put dug on text in a curve. You just have to play with it. Now this is the way I do it. Um, you know, there's probably other ways to do this, but I just found this simple for me. So I hope this helps somebody. And always, thanks for watching, guys.